Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryan here, and I got a quick CCNA and CCNP exam tip here for you. Uh, why won't this expletive deleted command work? And if you don't curse, that's perfectly fine. You'll still get something out of this video. It's not required. Uh, what I've got here for you is actually kind of inspired by an email I got from a Bulldog just a moment ago. And it's a Friday evening. I'm going through some email. He's working in his home lab, and he sent me something. And it reminded me of a situation that I've run into about 500,000 times uh, since I started. <laughs> And, you know, it still throws me for a few seconds, so especially for those of you relatively new to this stuff, I really want you to see this, and I also want you to know you're not the only person this happens to. And kind of modeling what he ran into, and here I've got a rack that's already running RIP and OSPF, as you can see. So you're checking a look at that, and maybe you just did something that requires an OSPF uh, process clearing, maybe a router ID change, something like that. And you just go in here and you check this and you just sit down and you say, fine, okay, it's um, clear IP OSPF processes. And you get a caret, which of course, you know, it's self-explanatory, invalid input detected at uh, the caret marker. But it still really throws you, especially when it's a command that you've used, oh, I don't know, 500,000 times. Uh, and it'll still throw you for a second, but especially if the commands are new to you and all these modes are new to you, then this can really throw you. And especially if you're an examiner, it's like, oh, what did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do anything wrong as far as the command goes. One rule of thumb that I would give you is when it comes to this caret, if the caret is further back in the command, that probably means you just misspelled something or say you're using an option that really isn't available. But when you see it this close to the front of the line and it's a command that you've used before, you know what the problem is? You're just in the wrong mode to use it. You can't clear your OSPF processes in config mode. You've actually got to get out of that and go all the way back to the prompt. See? See the big difference? And it's all down to that. So it's something to watch on your exam as well. But again, it happens to every single one of us. You're just in the wrong mode. Don't let that carrot throw you. And I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about a second ago. And I went ahead and reset my processes, but that's fine. So let's do a clear IP OSPF process here. But I'll just misspell it right there. See, when you see that caret further to the back of the line, that probably just means you misspelled something. But if you see it really close to the front, don't panic, remain calm. I bet you're just simply in the wrong mode. Clear and show commands are real big about that because you can't run either one of them here in config mode. you got to drop back to the enable prompt. And that's it. Make sure to check out my other videos on YouTube. We're well over a million views now thanks to you, and I'll see you on Twitter and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching.